Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. That site offers eight self-study lessons to help improve your life. From what I've learned uh, over 31 years as a professional therapist. The second lesson is how to improve the effectiveness of your communication. This video offers you one of many tips that I have learned from hundreds and hundreds of clients and other people across the years about effective communication. This tip has to do with the illusion that there can be no communication between two people. That is false. See what you think about this idea. All behavior in one person that affects another person can be termed communication. Can be verbal, can be nonverbal. Any kind of behavior that it causes an emotional, spiritual, physical reaction in another person is communication. If you accept that, then if someone ignores you, won't call you back, doesn't respond to you facially, verbally, in some way, you might think he or she didn't answer, didn't communicate with me. There was no response. Oh yes, there was. That kind of lack of direct communication causes an impact on most people. For instance, it can cause confusion. Did you understand me? Do you perceive me? Do you know I'm here? It, cause, it can cause self-doubt. Did I commit, convey myself clearly to you? Did I do something wrong here? It can cause hurt. Frustration, what's wrong with you? It can cause anger, anxiety. Um, silence in the absence of a response from another person is a response. It causes significant reactions. See if you agree or disagree. Think back to the last time you felt ignored or you didn't get some kind of response from an important person, an adult or a child, how did you feel? Um, you can either treat this as, well, gee whiz, that's interesting, so what? Or you can see some practical benefit to this reality. I propose that the reality is, once you are aware that you've got, quote, no response, unquote, ask yourself, what am I feeling now? Find out what goes on inside of you because the other person theoretically is not giving you some kind of feedback. Then you have the option of using a powerful communication tool called an I message, capital letter I. It's a form of assertion. It has two or three parts. The first part is, generically, when you blah, 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 and you, in that first part, you describe something that you could record with a video cam or an audio camera, an uh, audio recorder. So that might sound like, when you don't reply to my email, that's part one. Part two of an iMessage is I blank. The blank is a description without emotion, factually, briefly, concisely. How does the other person's behavior affect you? George, when you don't respond to my email or my phone calls, part one, I feel disrespected, confused, and anxious, period. That's part two. You can stop there. <clears throat> or optionally, you can add part three. Part three sounds something like, and George, what I need from you now is blank. Fill in the blank. I need you to be more 
attentive to my requests or demands. I need you to respond to my calls. I need you to give me eye contact. I need you to say something if I ask you a question. That's part three. Part one, a description of the other person's behavior without bias, simply, directly, clearly. Part two, how does the behavior, their behavior, affect you? Optional part three, describe specifically what do you need from the other person. This is a form of assertion, which is one of seven skills that you can learn to upgrade in your life in lesson two of the Break the Cycle website. You're probably communicating in less than half of the effectiveness that you could have. What might your life be like if you decided to improve your communication? Study lesson two.